EU divided on arming Ukraine striking Russian territory sparks heated debate. As the conflict between Ukraine and Russia continues, the European Union remains divided over the issue of providing Ukraine with arms capable of striking Russian territory. The lack of consensus reflects the complex geopolitical considerations and varied national interests within the EU, highlighting the challenges in forming a unified response to the ongoing war. Diverse perspectives among EU member states The debate within the EU is characterized by differing perspectives among member states. Some countries, particularly those in Eastern Europe and the Baltic region, strongly support arming Ukraine to help it defend itself and deter further Russian aggression. These nations argue that providing more advanced weaponry, including arms that could potentially strike Russian territory, is necessary for Ukraine's self-defense and the broader stability of Europe. On the other hand, several Western European countries express significant caution. They worry that supplying such weapons could escalate the conflict, provoke a more severe response from Russia, and risk a broader regional or even global confrontation. These nations advocate for a more measured approach, emphasizing the importance of diplomatic efforts and the need to avoid actions that could lead to an uncontrollable escalation. Geopolitical and Strategic Concerns The lack of consensus is also influenced by broader geopolitical and strategic concerns. The EU has to balance its support for Ukraine with the risk of exacerbating tensions with Russia, a nuclear-armed state with significant influence in global affairs. The potential consequences of escalating the conflict weigh heavily on decision-makers, who must consider both immediate security implications and long-term stability. Additionally, the EU's internal dynamics play a role. Member states have different historical experiences with Russia, varying levels of economic dependence on Russian energy, and distinct national security strategies. These factors contribute to the difficulty in reaching a unified stance on such a critical and sensitive issue implications for EU foreign policy. The division within the EU on this matter underscores the broader challenges facing the bloc in its foreign policy and security strategy. The inability to agree on a common approach weakens the EU's overall response to the Ukraine crisis and limits its effectiveness in supporting Ukraine against Russian aggression. It also raises questions about the EU's capacity to act cohesively in future conflicts or geopolitical crises. Looking forward. As the situation in Ukraine evolves, the EU will continue to grapple with the complex task of balancing support for Ukraine with the imperative to avoid further escalation. Efforts to bridge the gap between member states' positions will be crucial in forming a more cohesive and effective strategy. The outcome of these internal debates will significantly shape the EU's role and influence in the ongoing conflict and its broader geopolitical standing. In conclusion, the lack of consensus within the EU on supplying Ukraine with arms to strike Russian territory highlights the intricate balance of national interests, strategic concerns, and geopolitical risks that the bloc must navigate. Finding a unified approach remains a significant challenge as the EU seeks to support Ukraine while maintaining regional and global stability.